Hello, my name is Lily Hanna, and I am a candidate in the Educational Specialist Program for Instructional Technology at Kennesaw State University. The title of my capstone project is Using Mathletics to Support Mathematics Instruction. The problem that prompted this project proposal is Brumby's low performing math scores by every subgroup documented in the Georgia College and Career Ready Performance Index, also known as the CCRPI. Brumby's school improvement plan last year stated the core problem for the low math scores is students do not have a strong foundation in number sense or place value. Due to this problem, I saw a need for a tool that would support all students at Brumby in developing and growing a foundation in number sense and place value. I searched for a tool that would cater to the individual needs of each student while addressing state and common core grade level math standards. This type of web-based support has worked in the past for Brumby. Six years ago, Brumby was on a needs to improve list. The Bobcat Club was started and funded by Title I. The club was an after-school tutoring program that implemented a web-based program that individualized learning to meet the needs of each student. The program ran for two years and math scores were raised, bumping Brumby off the needs to improve list. Therefore, the program was dropped. And shortly after the program was dropped, math scores began falling again. Then tutors came in and out of the building throughout the day, pulling students in need of extra support. Teachers also tutored students before and after school. Still with all this support, Brumby was unable to get a handle on the number of students that needed support in math. Math tutors and teachers are focusing on grade level standards, even though they are noticing that students are lacking number sense and place value foundation that was taught in earlier years, making it difficult for students to grasp new concepts. How do we get students caught up on missing knowledge while still going forward with grade level curriculum? It's almost impossible. Unless you have a way to differentiate instruction to meet the needs of individual students, allowing each student to work on a specific domain at their level and pace. In order to produce significant gains in student achievement and boost engagement with our at-risk students, an intentional plan will need to be in place for our web-based program. The project plan was to find a supplemental web-based math program that could be used school-wide with all 1,000 students. I would become the program expert promoting, training, utilizing, and troubleshooting the program. The program was to be introduced to teachers used by students K through five in the classroom, in the math lab, and the computer lab, as well as at home. I anticipated not all teachers or students wanting to learn a new program. So I decided to make usage very public. I plan to create a Mathletics Wall of Fame that highlighted all students using Mathletics as well as classrooms. When a student earned enough points for a bronze, silver, or gold medal, they could choose a yellow star or a blue ribbon to place on the Wall of Fame with their name on it. Every time they earned a new medal, they could add a sticker to their star or ribbon. I also plan to add a top 10 student chart as well as a top 10 class list. Bi-weekly, the top 10 students and classes would be announced on the Friday Brumby News. The top three students would get to come and say hi on the Brumby News. I plan to use this public praise as a way to encourage all students and teachers to get involved with using Mathletics. To evaluate the effectiveness of the program, I will use several tools to measure. The first tool I will use is a series of Mathletics pre and post tests. 
All grade levels in Mathletics program have the place value and number sense domains. In the Math Lab, I will focus on these two domains and the standards within these domains because these domains were the areas of focus on our school improvement plan. The second tool I will use to evaluate the success of the program is the usage report. The goal is for usage by students and teachers to increase in participation and time using Mathletics. The third tool I will use is the end of grade milestones assessment in math for third through fifth graders. I will look at the percentage of students who met or exceeded standards compared to the previous year. I will then meet with the principal, the academic coach, technology coach, and Title I representative once mid-year and once at the end of the year to evaluate the capstone project effectiveness. The capstone project was a meaningful, beneficial experience. I learned that it takes a lot of planning, preparation, and ongoing work to implement a school-wide program. I also learned the power of persuasion, pressure, and or positive recognition, whichever you'd like to call it. When I first introduced the program, seven out of 45 classroom teachers participated in the program. The fourth week after I added the top 10 students in top 10 class lists, participation increased by 40%. By the end of the school year, 75% of teachers were using Mathletics in their classroom. Two students were featured on the Mathletics top 50 students in the country. Two other students completed all of their grade level activities in second grade and moved on to the third grade level activities. One of those students completed third grade activities and moved on to fourth grade. I was pleasantly surprised how excited and engaged students were when they came in to work on Mathletics. Several second through fifth grade classes were given pre and post tests at the beginning and end of each domain. The results of the post test showed significant growth from the pre test in all grade levels. Brumby's 2018 19 end of grade assessments showed an increase in math scores overall for Brumby students. This was a huge goal. We do not know the role Mathletics played in the score increase but that and the pre and post test data were enough for Title I to approve the program for a second school year. I have had several students and teachers asking me if we are going to do Mathletics again the, this year. The answer is yes. And with Title I funding, it doesn't happen until October. And our contract last year went through a school year instead of a calendar year. So I've made that adjustment this year and our pro program will run a whole calendar year. Overall, I feel my capstone was a success and impacted our school and student achievement, engaging almost 1,000 students. I'm excited that I will have the opportunity to continue my capstone project this year and make some improvements. This year, our school has started a house system I will incorporate this in the Mathletics Wall of Fame and student stars and ribbons will be in their house colors. Houses will re earn points for their Mathletics participation. This year, I look forward to working closely with classroom teachers and training them on how to use Mathletics to support their mathematics instruction and using the data provided by the program to drive their instruction.